welcome back. Um, yeah, here we are. We're out here, St. Louis, ready to go. Track looks awesome. I complete the look apparently. Living my best uh, FD life could only work well. Yeah, it's ready. Dialed. Right, Dialed. What exactly? All right, show me to my plane, boys. Chariot. Ask who wants to ride. Save this for later. All right. Well, we're here. We're set up. Car, good to go. A couple hours till practice. The pro boys are out there. We got tunes this weekend. We got a speaker. Oh. We've got an armory. Well, if you missed these things, but these are completely necessary. Ah. No, what is that? Axle grease. I, I will end you. Get out of here. Yep, I got a gun. Ah. All right, back in, got some practice. Andy's dying, We're like 10 runs in. You can't see anything from down here, so the car's just out there. I asked how they, they thought, and they're like, we don't know, we can't see anything. I can't tell. It's kind of a bit unrewarding, because like, just do all this stuff, and you send the car out, and it comes back. Hopefully. Yeah, and you don't see anything, you don't see anything. Out on course, there's like, there's no lines painted. So like, Maybe it started, they marked it initially, but. It was, it's just not, yeah, not time, between us. Every time well, cars go over it, it just, what? Yeah, plenty of power still. Um, maybe on the run up, like it could be more. All right, got a few more practice runs in. Starting to feel a little better. Everything's a little different on the car, I think, on the new suspension, but uh, it's like someone's into the wall, so this might be the end of practice. Maybe we'll get one more run, and then we got qualifying here in just a little bit, so I'll keep you posted. All right, slight drama. Right before qualifying, things got feeling weird in the car, and uh, turns out both front tie rod inners had gone bad and like totally blown out. So, we are first up in qualifying. Only got a few minutes to get this knocked out. All right, 7 30. We're up first. We don't know when exactly we're up, but the car's ready. The boys got it knocked out. These were, these were brand new. When they were on the car and you had a little force, it was like literally like that much movement per side. Yeah. It's so like the plastic's like broken. Much. Yeah. For tomorrow, you know, some of the cars come unwound and run into each other. But uh, thank you again. Every Robert has its thorn. With this ASM BMW, look at that, that's what we're talking about. And this is a great way to start it. Filling all of the outside zone one. Not the deepest, but definitely dials it in that back left tire. Excuse me, about to say right, but look at that. Robert Thorne, a little bit of correction there going into outside zone three. Now coming into outside zone four, but he got, look at that, gets close to the wall. Oh my gosh, Thorne has, that I mean, wow. What a way, I mean, we always talk about it, putting that, you know, running towards that wall, getting that sticker, hitting it high on that wall, and Thorne darn near perfected it. I'm, I'm getting really excited about the flow of it, you know, and, and I think what's really going to stand out, you know, if we can allude to what we're going to see, the essence of head-to-head, -head, I think this is really going to make for a dynamic track. You could just see, I've, I've looked it up before, and, and I, uh, <laughs> I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to misspeak. Okay. So a 76, so I'm, I'm a little surprised at that. So style, so not, not a big, uh, did not attack that outer two wall. I like this. Wow. So I'm just going to put you on blast. Chris Yule, our, uh, our style judge, says did not attack that outside second wall. It's been a rough night. <laughs> a rough night for the boys. Holy crap. We got a bunch of zeros uh, for some real killers out here. Um, some tough luck on some guys. And then I like my run was awesome. I was like super happy. Came off. I was stoked. I mean, I can watch it back and see that it wasn't like 
that total bomb 100 point run. Um, lacking aggression, I mean confidence to throw it in and, and slow the car with angle, wasn't doing that. Definitely was on the handbrake. But that's kind of worth, I thought it'd be worth taking a little bit of a couple points there. Um, to make sure I was on line. Line is supposed to be everything out here. Uh, I got, got dinged a little hard. But uh, judges are always right, so they gave me something to work on. We're going to qualify just fine, even with that 76 or whatever it was. But yeah, that means we're good. We're done for the night. Uh, cars in one piece, so we're going to go pack it up, watch the rest of qualifying, and see you guys in the morning. setting. It's been a long day of waiting around. We had an autograph session. That was super cool. And uh, yeah, we just finished practice. So car, it's good. Dialed. Bunch of little changes today. Um, still some things to work out on the front end. I still get a little wheel shake sometimes. We're not sure what's going on with the front end, but it's too late to change it. Um, throw some fresh tires on it, and then we're up with Casey in just a little bit here. A little bit, but right now, Robert Thorne, our current points leader, who is just definitely on fire. He says he feels like he got it figured out. Um, his his you know teammate Tom McGorman has been giving me a ton of insight, which is really just uh, really fun to see a road racing kind of mentality applied to drifting. So Robert Thorne going against Casey Cole. Casey Cole, he's not going to let this points leader get away. He knows what kind of driving he's got, but oh, he goes way on the inside. He hits him, and that will definitely be Casey Cole's fault. And I wanted to make sure that that cell didn't occur in the zone itself from the let's, car. Let's take a listen. A little decel. Yeah, that was a that was a significant that was a hit. stout hit. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look here again at the uh, the FPV drone. Yeah, he was way ahead of him and inside, and definitely not, not positioned in the right place at all in the chase. And Casey Cole, unfortunately, unable to fix his car. So Thorne will get the advancement and will get the win and move on to 16. All right, so took the win tonight. Not the way we wanted to probably get it done, but. It did get done. Um, the car held together. It is pretty bent, but it happens. Actually, I mean, Casey's a good friend. No big deal. Uh, he said that he was okay with the slow, and his foot slipped off the clutch, and sometimes things happen. So we all make mistakes. No big deal. Wish we had a clean, awesome battle that we could talk about, but not the case. Uh, the car's up for service. We gotta figure out what's bent on this thing. Shocks lower. Yeah. This is like starting to touch on the uh, CV joint at Allen bolt here. Should I grab another one? So that arm's staying in. It is bent. It is bent. But it's only a little more bent than it was on the other arm. Right. So we're just going to roll with it and realign the car. Stop. Hopefully, it'll be good. All right, car's good. Dialed. That's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, again, team did an awesome job. Huge shout out to uh, to them and all the support. Um, all the guys that came up and offered parts after the little ding. But we are we're all set. We've got warm up in the morning and then we go right into the uh, 16 competition. So I will see you then. Slight drama. Last practice run. Broke the arm off, fortunately. Uh, thankfully, uh, Haley over here had an extra one, literally out here. Uh, we've got just a few minutes before we need to roll out for competition, but uh, we got the diff 
off, pulled back, arm swaps, and they're just doing alignment now. Be up in a minute. Send cars. Robert Thorne, who was leading the championship, comes in here. He qualified for so he didn't have a buy run, so I think that might benefit him. He did have some contact last night with Casey Cole, having to prepare that back right suspension through the night, but he's feeling 100. Here we go. Robert Thorne deep into there. Little, little, little landscaping. Some brown cloud. We'll see if that comes into play there on that back half. Robert Thorne, look at that, drops that bumper right in. Oh, it does affect him a little bit, but I don't know if that was because of the wall tap or just comes unbound. And TLO now in that chase position. Haven't talked much about TLO, but look at too little, too late. What's going on there? Here we go. He's going to a late initiation. He's going to say there's a thorn in his side, but not the case. And Tommy Lemaire putting the car right in the outside zone two, three. Little correction there to massage it into outside zone three. But Thorn having some trouble getting. Oh, and Tommy Lemaire goes off course. And that, that a, is a whole car. That was what? a whole car off track right there, Jared. Putting together here, he's putting the car in the right places. And Solid. in the chase, Thorne is not really putting his car in the same places. So Tommy had a little bobble there entering zone three. But right here is where it all falls apart for Tommy. Uh -oh. Goes four wheels off, leaves the course entirely, goes behind that outside zone marker cone. So that is going to be an incomplete for Tommy no Lemaire. No way. And uh, like you said, he basically gifted that win to Robert Thorne at that moment. All right, again, not how we want to win one. Uh, really struggling with the car. We think we must still have something kind of messed up on this rear corner. So we're going to try and just make some alignment adjustments, try and help it. Something's bent. Uh, something's bent, we're not quite sure what right now. It is hot, the sun is straight overhead. Um, but we made it through the round, so we're now in the grade eight. Grade eight? Um, we're up against Madison next, who's been absolutely killing it this weekend. So we need something. I think it's worth trying to make a change because uh, right now we're kind of nowhere. And uh, if we can make it in the top four, it'd be pretty killer, I think, because we are uh, on the struggle bus today. The car's still running. We'll give it help. All right. Yeah. Good soggy. You just fell yeah, right. Broke the bottom fell out. All right. So Robert Thorne and Derek Madison. Look at d -Mads. Says, all right, you might be the points leader, but this is my house. And it looks like Robert Thorne goes into that second outside zone properly. Derek Madison as well. Now coming to that final outside zone, how are they going to handle it? Coming to that final outside zone, Robert Thorne finds that outside edge, but Derek Madison found that inside edge. The proximity was proper. Looking at the replay here, look at Robert Thorne on his lead run. Not fully in outside zone one, but tire in the box at the very least. Outside zone number two, Robert does a good job in the lead. Madison falls off of outside zone number two. And look at outside zone three, both of them in there, but um, it looked like Madison left it a little bit early and then Thorne deep in outside zone four. Madison not in the box at all. So um, definitely some advantages from both drivers here. Derek Madison, I feel like he's driving, you know, fairly calm, all things considered. And now, right now, he's just got to be in his own head, be in his own cockpit, and dial it in. And he did just that really well done on outside zone two. Robert Thorne did have a mistake on his previous run with TLO. And Derek Madison, you can see that side bite, really getting that grip. And Robert Thorne goes off course. That is, that's the first, I mean, not the first. Major mistake. That's a, that's a really, really big mistake. Not just a straightening out, but going two wheels off. Yep. Right for Madison, one vote for Madison, one one more time, and two one more times. And here we see Derek Madison and Robert Thorne. This is the one more time battle. Inconclusive, it was two to one. It was not unanimous for the one more time. As Robert Thorne goes in that first outside zone, Mer Derek Madison, this is his hometown track. He wants to bring it and put it down for his hometown. Into the third outside zone goes Thorne. Madison got in a little late on that outside zone three. Now into the final outside zone, Thorne does what he did on that last time, but not as deep, just barely drops that back right tire off track. All right, let's see this from the sky as we get up to initiation here. Thorne gets himself in outside zone one. You can see Madison is not in outside zone one as they transition for two. Thorne puts his bumper into the wall. Madison's on the inside there. 
not in the zone at all. Same thing for three. Madison is outside the box while Thorne is in it. And right here, Thorne puts his tire just over the line. Madison is slightly inside. So we'll have another look here from the speedy drone as we look at where Thorne and Madison are positioned. So Madison making some compromises there. Madison starts in outside zone two, but then leaves it pretty early. Thorne is filling three. Madison is not all the way in three. And then again, four. Thorne deep in four. Madison with his tire on the inside line of uh, that outside zone four box. So uh, Madison did have proximity, but he did not have the mimic. So the line was not being mimicked uh, pretty much everywhere uh, from Madison. So Thorne now needs to place his car properly in the chase position. That's something we've seen from Thorne riding a little bit inside on some of his chase runs. So he's going to have to push that car back into the right spot. Here we go with Madison out front in that first outside zone. Goes a little bit deeper than Thorne. And now into the second outside zone. See Madison and Thorne. Pretty, pretty similar lines there. Like to see that proximity from Thorne. That's where he takes a little bit of angle out into that third outside zone. And Madison, oh, oh and wow. Thorne spins out. And Derek Madison, D Mads. So earlier we saw that with TLO with Thorne. And now guess what? That gift keeps on giving. So hey, Facing his car. He was mimicking exactly what Madison was doing in the lead. He was doing exactly what he needed to do to get the win here. But as soon as we get here, maybe there's just a long handbrake pull, a little bit too aggressive on the, on the foot brake there. To get the win. As soon as we get here, maybe there's just a long handbrake pull, a little bit too aggressive on the, on the foot brake there. So, pro battle, pro spec battle, everything was awesome. Um, we ended up just barely keeping the points lead by just one point. So, uh, we're in a good spot going into the last round. We just need to clutch that. So, it is now the next weekend. We are here in Pennsylvania, and uh, we are off to NJMP for a grid life event. So, I'll see you guys in that video in a week. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have a second, and we'll see you next time.